Ah, oh, welcome back to. I don't know what we're going to do. We're doing the office thing again, or the <laughs> anime girls discovering <laughs> existentialism. No. Or, well, anyway, you said the office thing, so I mean. Anyway, uh, please. All right, guys. Now let's tell some jokes that aren't really as funny as people seem to think they are. But if we tell them in a hushed tone, it might seem funnier. It seems. Penis. It seems smart. You have penis? to be smart. Penis. It seems smart. You have to be smart to watch The Office, and and, and get, if you're not laughing, you don't get it. Just like Rick and Morty. Yeah, oh man, you, you are. Uh, it's the Office random, just like Rick and Morty. No, that we were no, just making jokes. Oh. Right, please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Oh, but I like it being really visible. The Office, um, mm. the Office fandom is just more of a well. You gotta work in an office oh. to get it. Oh, which please adjust the slider until the dog and cat are friends. <laughs> Well, if I don't want them to be friends. Well, then I guess I you could. I feel like that's more than friends. Yeah, yeah I'm guessing... a little gone beyond friends, Josh. <laughs> you think that's two friends? That's two friends. Let's go back friend. a little bit. There we go. Okay. Hey, One there. heart, not three hearts. That's good. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Three hearts means some other things. Please adjust yeah. the slider until the... I give one friend three hearts. <laughs> Please adjust Maybe the... Maybe two. Ooh. Please adjust Maybe the slider three. until the number five becomes the number nine. Four and five. <laughs> Oh, okay, well, there's Roman there's nine. numeral. There we go. That's and number nine. And there's nine. nine. And number then nine. there's nine. nine. Where's so, nine? Well, well, there's saying nine. Here's the number nine right it next to the Taco Bell. It says no. the number nine. So but not, Ro Ro not numeral nine. <laughs> Roman no. numeral's still a number. Yes. It's still technically a number, but it's also a numeral. Only the number nine is the number nine itself and nothing. And not nothing the speech else. bubble saying nine. I wish it just be speech bubble uh, saying nine. I wouldn't have a Taco Bell. Please <laughs> adjust the slider until you stop adjusting the slider. Make sure you hit one of every slot, Josh. Uh, is that a trophy? Hey, you stopped. Is that a trophy? It was a trophy to do that with, with all the many things. Yeah, apparently because we weren't attached to the internet, we weren't able to get into the uh, that. Which of these two made-up words is more appealing to you? Occuboinkel or scrumtush? Oh, occuboinkel. Absolutely yeah. occuboinkel. Everyone agree occuboinkel is the better no, word? No, because Devin said scrumtush. Me and we'll probably have to put it in the middle. Mm. <laughs> I'm thinking... Mm. I like the letter S. I think yeah. scrumptish sounds like grimy, like dirty. yeah. I, Honestly, scrumptish sounds like one of it doesn't sound like a too much of a made up word to me. Sounds too close to scrumptious. scrumptious. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, I get it. So scrumptish is like a food that's good but has a really nasty texture. So it's like scummy but good. But occupoinkel sounds like occupied or occupation or. Occupoinkel doesn't really sound like a word to me. Oh, which is why it still sounds like a word that came from um, Spaceballs. How about right there? It's like yeah. some people like Scrum Touch a little more. <laughs> yeah. Please don't adjust the slider. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Punk rock. We don't follow these fucking rules. <laughs> Oops, too late. I've already adjusted the slider. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Do you know what time it is right now? No, not a clue. No? <laughs> no. Nope. Nope. No. Mm. Oh, my phone five seconds ago. Is the time that it is right now the correct time? Absolutely not. No? No, no way. <laughs> it's never the correct time. What is time anyway? Yes. <laughs> yes. Is there anything about yourself you haven't told me? No. Yes. <laughs> you have to something out. Yes. Help. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I'll yes. help you. Absolutely, I need help. <laughs> Will you come back to visit nope. me? Nope. No? <laughs> no? No, fuck this guy. You don't want to come back to visit him? No, he's an <laughs> asshole. They made all that sli all those sliders just for us. Okay, fine. You're going to guilt trip us like that. I wouldn't make an impossible slider joke, but I'm pretty sure I made it last episode. <laughs> the impossible slider? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the little, the plant-based things. We have the oh, Stanley wow. Parable 2. It's still having its uh, mock-up of a 
triple-A title sequence looking thing. I forgot about that. I uh, also thought this was the original thing. <laughs> After I changed this shit. Yeah, it changed. After we went to that uh, convention, <clears throat> it changed. The end is never the end. Is never the, end, is the, end. the end is loading. <laughs> never. The end is loading never. My end is loading. <laughs> you go to Taco Bell, the end loads just fine. <laughs> yeah. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm Stanley worked for a company in a big building where yeah, he something. was employee number 427. The balloons are here. Employee number 427's job was simple. He had normal time. He sat at his desk in room mm. 427 and yeah, he pushed the buttons on the keyboard. Yeah, okay, we know. Hell yeah. Skip button and all that. Okay. The standing parable. Two. Let's simulate this walking. Our shells, please. You can also get, um... They really have the powerful stuff. Yeah. They have they have mm. an option just to get the spicy potatoes in a bowl. Oh my god. <laughs> Why have I been doing that? What are we talking about? Say, t- you talk about how he couldn't eat Taco Bell anymore because uh, of his gluten free diet now? Fuck it. And I was like, they have options for that. <laughs> oh, I can't eat Taco Bell anymore because it tastes like vomit. <laughs> You sir haven't had the spicy potato taco. <laughs> so oh, do you just now do the gluten free. Oh yeah, you're in the room. I said that. Yeah. Yeah. When I texted in the chat earlier, I said tonight I want to die. I literally had one slice of pizza. My stomach started hurting. I went an entire week without gluten. I would rather. I would rather die than have to go without pizza. I've known this for a while. I just been ignoring it. For like two Tuesdays ago, I had to skip out on work because I couldn't leave the bathroom. So I can't ignore it no more. Okay, so you have celiac. Yes. I'm not diagnosed, but I mean, whenever I have bread, my stomach just goes into like panting syndrome. So. Will we actually get an achievement from doing this? We did, yes. Okay. You know they can't help you with that. I'm actually just going to hit every day because I feel better anyway. Yeah, as you go through all of this stuff just, to get, uh, just for the achievement. Okay, okay, four feet up. <laughs> oh, we just, we were just talking about how we don't follow these fucking rules. <laughs> we're just doing everything we're told to. <laughs> this is for an achievement. I know, but it's just funny to me. Do we have all the achievements already? Yes, but there's a sequence here because it's funny. Okay. Is that funny, though? Well, I, do, I always liked it. But, um... He's not in such a fetus. I'm not sure enough because I've never had celiac or known anyone who's really had a couple or and gone through to medicine, but I'm I'm fairly certain it actually helps treat the disease itself. Basically like while you can take while you can take the medicine you can Copy machine, copy machine, copy machine, copy machine. See the trick about being punk is if you do if you rebel all the time, you're still like following a rule. You're just you know, you gotta sometimes follow the rules. What is the cool thing you can do with a quarter staff? Sure. That isn't. Are you talking about like in a real fight? Yes, yeah, like a realistic thing you can do with a quarter staff. That isn't just a basic attack. Alright, let's keep sure. it up. Go give sure. me a few sure. kicks on door four. Well, one of the big advantages of a, well, one of the big advantages of a quarter staff is its parrying ability. Like it's it. very, very good at parrying. And like, okay, come here, machine. Come here, machine. Are you guys just normal voice? The voice I'm there? trying to. It's just the, it's the normal guy. He's just very excited right now. This is Dragon's Five E. A little more. Finish it up, Stanley. Five clicks on the trying to come up with little abilities that each weapon can have. Okay, 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 okay. Ah. So the quarter staff is, I mean, obviously modeled after the European quarter staff. Yeah. The Japanese use the quarter staff very similar yeah. to the golden third. Yeah. But if you yeah. want to get a little different, you can modify it so players can use it like a Chinese yeah. limit where it's held at the end and used almost like a blunt spear. Yeah. So you can give it the reach 
a, basically make it a blunt reach weapon. Because, mm-hmm. like, the, the Chinese gun you hold at the end... I don't think it is a blunt reach weapon. So... Stanley picked up the bucket, brother. Yay, we picked up the bucket. I miss you. The halberd would be slashing and piercing. Piercing. Yeah, glaive would be slashing. The traditional pike-headed spears would be piercing. Okay, which way are we going with the bucket? Which way did he tell us to go? Right well, he's, he still did the normal... Where's that come from? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know. He did the normal go left. Ian. What? Are you the reason why I say left leads to treasure? Yes. Where's Dragon Crust. Boom. There's your answer. We established that in like the first episode of this. Okay, left leads to treasure, I guess. Okay, left leads to treasure. Okay, left leads to treasure. <laughs> left leads to treasure, right leads to the boss fight. <laughs> If you're ever playing a dragon See? warrior, yeah, no, I, I told you that when you said what? that. If you're, said that if you're ever playing a dragon warrior or a dragon quest game, and you come to a split, go left first. Nine times out of ten, that'll be the way to the treasure. That, that's where it comes from. There you go. Caleb asked me that last time we played D and D. I think it was last Saturday. And I'm like, or it was like last Sunday. Yes. I said that. And he's like, dude, where's that Ooh. from? You say it all the time. Like, Broom closet. Broom closet with well, the bucket! I mean, shouldn't the broom bucket closet. go in the broom closet? Can you feel it? The broom closet, it wants the bucket. <sighs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't remember. I'm like 90% sure I learned from Drake Rose. I think it's the first time when he said it to me. It's possibly. <laughs> and I'm like, so I just said it ever since. And I weren't asking him that, like, when I had, like, where I mean, come from. <laughs> Wouldn't the bucket go in the broom closet? Isn't that where the bucket would go if you were actually exploring it? Really like it's a broom closet, not a Ian. If he left was the reason why you always say left to special. Was there Ian or you? I was like 90% certain it was Rick Rose. <laughs> Possibly. Yeah, it was Ian. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no, that, that jerk. Well, yeah, no, I always say that. Simply in order to get you to Harrison and Screw you! I never liked this. Like, really? I like went left and did a little treasure and I'm like, mmm, imagine that, Devin. We're not. Why? Fuck that bucket. That bucket owes me money. That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner. No, what? It's my old passcode or everything. Wait, what? Really I'm trying to remember Devin's pattern from Hunter's phone. Oh. <laughs> I'll put that on left right, left right, B.A. start. <laughs> if I could do that, yes. Yeah, I would say I would do the same. <laughs> I would have the Konami code as well. So about five, okay. five okay. thousand million. We're insulting the clo- broom closet. Hey, broom closet! You, Fuck you! You only have one broom! This is well, a it's closet. a broom closet, not a broom's closet. They're allowed <laughs> one. There is not that even is any... A god-awful big broom closet. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got a sticker. Oh, nice. Nice. No more debate. No more discussion. The bucket is officially <laughs> ours now. See, he has the brooms, in, the brooms in the broom closet, but I don't see any clothes for the broom. This isn't a broom <laughs> closet at all. You're right. Are we debating in the bucket? Put hmm. the book on our head. Awesome. That's our bucket, not the broom closet's right. bucket. I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slam it on as well because Clay thinks it's appropriate. You see, I <laughs> oh. feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. Yeah. That way, what was if you're it? ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Oh, it's a bucket. Oh. Yeah, there are some people in the world that probably actually see the sticker. Yeah, well. Yeah, take that. It's my bucket. It says so on the sticker. Jesus, why do you have so many fucking things? Because I'm researching corn, corn okay? okay. <laughs> it's a lot of non corn. Because it is just giving us a silent confine. And to be honest, yeah, really? no corn. Jeez. It's a point. You can stay there all you like, but I've had it with this impact. Probably. <laughs> no, I, go through, I go through other apps. You are an adult man. I would hope there's at least a little bit of porn in there. Oh, Wait a minute. What if it's clear that there's porn in it? Is it that this is supposed to have cleaning supplies in it? 
A broom if closet. You're, if your full history is completely clean, but I know at least apart from the broom and the mop bucket. The thing is, if your history is clean, that means you're looking up weird shit. That's wire. Oh. Don't fuck more about it. That's all hardware stuff because that's wire. I'm not judging. It's all damn. Yeah, there's no cleaning surprise. There's no cleaning surprise. This is all just maintenance stuff. Yes. It's like, you're right, you're, this is a maintenance closet, not a broom closet. I mean, you just have the broom and the mop bucket there, and that's it for cleaning. Everything's just yeah, this This is the maintenance closet, not the broom closet. Get out of here. No. Lee, there's no reason to be in a maintenance closet. No. If it's not a broom, if it's not yeah, a Yeah, I want to be in a broom closet, goddammit. They didn't even have a dustpan for the broom. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. You're right. Yeah, and no, so good as a broom on a and, no and no mop for the mop bucket. What were they gonna put the broom in the mop bucket? <laughs> like an idiot? Um, I well, I don't know. I've worked at some companies that were cheap enough to try that shit. Listen, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes the title doesn't tell you everything in that what's in the porn. Then when you start watching it, some weird okay. ass shit. Like, well, I regret watching that. You have to believe from your history, so no one knows. Never, watch never right. regret watching right. it. Up or down? Up or up. down? Up. Up. Well, technically, up. still left or right. I do kind of like the block thing or the parry thing. Because then it would give. And also, it actually. Why is it? It would 100% give wizards a reason to carry a quarter, the iconic quarter yeah. staff. Okay, why does it say. They can't wear armor, so it gives that little boost. Why does it say in the executive washroom this time? Oh boy. But what, what oh. do you think for that? Hi. Do you think a parry <laughs> would be better or do you think like a static block would be better? Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, you gotta send a fig! I would say, like, this is 5 you were talking about? Yeah. yeah. A plus one to your AC would probably be a bit much. I implore you to say that. static. I mean, you can make it as, like, as a reaction, you can <laughs> add plus two to your AC, so you'd be like a shield. So I, does. Like I got the feeling AC money's for stealing. No. But no, not yours, of course. Your Say that's a lovely purse. There's no specific types. You can boost your AC like a motherfucker. Yeah, there. there's boosts to it, but there's no like specific what? types of AC. No. I have a level one yeah. War Force Force player that has an AC. How ready would you have to be in order to block something? I mean, ready? you'd probably be combat ready, so like it probably wouldn't work on like a. So, no, I mean, like, would you. If you were just. Standing there. I mean, it's actually ready. it's actually quite simple to block with the staff. I mean, this motion covers almost the entirety of your body. If you're holding it like a holding it like a, a European quarter staff or a Japanese bow staff. It would be you have to take your action to do it. I mean, I wouldn't even say that. It's literally no, this. That would be my question: Is do you Eight. think you would have to take an action to be able to block an incoming strike, or do you think you would be able to block a strike and strike back? Honestly, could be a reaction. Could be. Uh, uh, so like uh, okay. To so actually, can I can I ask a question? This Especially, is, yes. this, is, this, yeah, is this is utterly this is utterly a mechanical issue. Mm -hmm. Of course, people who play fifth edition. Do people use staffs because they're effective weapons? How effective a weapon is it to players? It's a one d eight bludgeon damage. That's a lot of That's damage. A simple weapon. Yeah. Okay, I would give it a reaction. If, if you're using it in both hands, it's one d eight. If you're using it in one hand, it's one d six. If uh, for a simple weapon, it's a lot of damage. It's yeah, like the best, so it's the highest damaging simple weapon. In that case, I would make it a reaction yes. because yes. that uh, one d eight as a free is actually kind of powerful. <laughs> Yeah, well, as a reaction, you can boost your AC by two. Yes. Yeah. You basically cast a low level shield spell. Yeah, basically. Yeah. As a reaction. It's like you're blocking with a shield as a reaction. Mm -hmm. I would say. So also, basically, you, need, you basically use the staff as though you're wielding a shield? Yeah. Okay. Actually, I would say, um, raise it by two if you're using a two handed Mini stands. Damn the rings? Yeah. Although, like, yeah. This is, this is first style, yeah. Yes. Because like it, it's, it's he is go get his the main staff. thing for <laughs> he is getting his staff. Everyone. The main thing for like if you're using it one handed, it's because you're a spellcaster typically, and spellcasters have a staff in one hand and their magic in the other. Mm -hmm. Is kind of what that is. So, so basically, if you're a monk, it's just use or somebody that's just using the staff, you're going to use it two handed. Yeah. And Unless you want to block and then hit somebody with your other hand. It also already <laughs> dif differentiates itself. Already, yeah. so there's no reason not to keep differentiating. Yeah. The 
So that's stuff. I'm gonna do it. Okay, cool. Pushing towards a low level fucking shield. Yeah. Now give that would look. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. That's horse that guy. That's horse that guy. Yikes. Okay, so like we're on a 50 cent piece staff. Jesus. Whoa. That? It's not, it's not bamboo. It's just styled to look like bamboo. It's not actually bamboo. So. Oh, so this is awkward. I thought it was recording before. Was it not recording? Not visually. Oh shit. Well. Well, just. We did all that slider okay. stuff. Mm. <laughs> just have us talking on a black screen. And just like, <laughs> and just, like just put random I'll put, pictures in. I'll put it on quality. Put the AI generated Stanley Parable shit in. <laughs> <laughs> just put like a really awkward picture of somebody like with their hands shrugged. So, okay, so you said a staff can be used one handed. Okay, well, I'll just... Oh, oh no, I know exactly what we can do for the video. Uh-huh. <laughs> a static picture of all of us. <laughs> and it does that old Burger King meme where every time one of us talks... Oh, the mouth just... Mouth just... <laughs> 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 that will require way too much work on my part. <laughs> I will come up with something. I, I, I always visualize, Josh, if you, were, you know the scene where Gandalf... Well, like, no, I don't know, meme, yada yada. He's got like, tucked under his arm and he uses it as like, a sweep. That's what I picture. I mean, when maybe... You just like, I, I know, I know fifth edition is like hyper cinematic. I'm just trying to get this mechanic, so... That's yeah. really weird to hold with one hand. I agree. Especially, I, I figured it would mostly be the poke or that like and it almost have their arms sweep. But like that's the only thing I can think of. Man, I can't. <laughs> I can't generate any momentum with a one-handed jab. Okay, Hang on. so bottom of the with mind the control DNA. facility with a bucket. That's kind of dirty. Hell yeah! In the what? Basement, so. Bottom Is of the bucket going to be your mind control device? Well, I was like, well, going, yeah. are we throwing it down? Into well, the, well okay, going, this direct we can, we can <laughs> jump right down here. So now I'm seeing you hold one handed, lower your grip what? a bit. No. Well, I'm not raised it. Oh. I'm doing a thing over Sorry. here. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Let me go put a hole in the ceiling. Okay. Put a hole in the ceiling. Put a hole in the ceiling. Are you going to put a hole in the ceiling? He's going to put a fucking hole in the ceiling. Well, no. I thought you said it. That's a drop ceiling. There ain't nothing up there but mouse turds. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Where did you get that? Put a hole in the ceiling. I've had it forever. Why do you have that? Because it's a bow staff. <laughs> Looks like a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> Was the bow staff the same as a quarter staff? Yeah. Pretty much. Like it to, I like to, it when you interact with people with the staff. We're trying to figure out. We're trying to figure out how to use a staff one handed. Take one for the team. <laughs> I use a staff one handed all the time. I, 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 like all I wouldn't let it have reach one handed <laughs> either. I don't think the staff has reach regardless. It Which doesn't. Fucking nerdy white guy. It doesn't <sighs> because oh, the quarter staff oh, in Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> assumes you're using it in the European or Japanese style where you hold it in thirds. You're gonna hit Anna or put a fucking hole in the yeah, probably. You said it, so it's gonna happen now. <laughs> Good night. If I wake up to a hole in the ceiling, you're never allowed to have game night again. You'll be grounded. <laughs> Can I put a hole in the wall? Don't fucking put a hole in anything that I'm gonna have to patch up. <laughs> we'll hole me. Okay. <laughs> Devin's got a hole waiting for you. <laughs> you guys are nasty. Up, so you make me okay. Oh god. Are we doing this? Yes. yes, we're doing yeah, it. Yeah, in the animal. Oh, God! Uh, oh, we jump in the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, good night. Oh, my goodness. Do we still have the bucket? I can't see. We have the bucket. We have the bucket. It's our bucket. We fell in the bucket to brace our fall. Standing on the back. Well, on the line, we're going to be lying through the corner staff and sort of hold the ceiling. Just grab it. Just grab it. Just grab it. If it wasn't sturdy, I would have probably would have grabbed it. Oh, is it? We set, what is it? We set up a couch. Couch? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Forget that it's that. Ridiculous. But the no one thinks weird. about it though. Yeah. And they're doing the uh, they're doing the a remix of the song. Yeah. 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 Ye
fell it off the catwalk. Well, I saw Ian's hand after he was touching it, and his hand. Oh, is it black rubbing off on it? Oh, it was all covered in gray. I wonder if it's paint or if it's where he's been keeping it. Probably he should get that in the basement. Yeah. Oh, okay. Also, I can smell the mold coming off of it. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's exactly what it is, but I said mold first. Thank you. Who are you looking up? Both what what so shit did you do on my phone? I looked Why up. Why is there more weird crazy, porn on I looked my up phone? crazy furry shit, bro. Why are you wondering how to put water in a beer barrel? Because we were doing that in art. <laughs> I know. It's I wasn't supposed to say I didn't do that. I asked that every now and because I know what you see. <laughs> the true ending. Yeah, you guys just. You talk amongst yourselves, not paying attention, and you get all shocked about what happens. Yeah! That's part of this. That's kind of what we do with Final Fantasy. <laughs> Final Fantasy is different. It is. about the bow staff. Yeah. One of my absolute <laughs> most favorite weapons. Yeah. Oh, you see, I'm an old-fashioned monk. My favorite weapons are... Or a power gun. Or a feast. Power gun. I just absolutely monk with a gun. <laughs> I own uh, the bow staff. Monk with a gun. <laughs> monk with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> you shoot them until you use your incredible meaning in the meeting room to get right in their face, and you punch them in the nose, and then you run away real quick and shoot them again. <laughs> <laughs> New character idea, guys. Monk with a gun. Monk with a gun. <laughs> you shoot until you have a gun. You, ammo. you literally yeah. shoot until your gun runs out of ammo, because every gun's going to run out of ammo. Oh, you shoot until your clip's gone, and you just run up and just. <laughs> boom. Oh, we went left, now we got to right. How are we going right? Here's yep. the thing. Buddhist gun moments were an actual thing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Boom. You have, a, you have a real life basis for it. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, that's back down. Honestly, God, Ian, I was looking at my character first lady and I was honestly thinking about getting her of archery to have modern weapons so I can have a gun. <laughs> yes, this is better than the meeting room. The employee but lounge is amazing. Be similar to the clerics from. Uh, that just made it worse. Equilibrium. <laughs> Ian, okay, I might change my archery oh, to modern me. weapons to have a gun, okay. so I'm feeling like the cleric's from Equilibrium, and I have gun poo. Have you seen Equilibrium? <laughs> I have. It's a very good What's up, Josh? Oh, nothing. Oh, this... To be fair, I have um, hand-to-hand -hand martial arts. Now you only need oh, yeah. I mean, oh, you pretty much are a gun. She pretty much is a gun. Yes, I am. <laughs> She's a longbowman. She's... That's what I was Boom. getting at. <laughs> Pretty much what I was getting at was I'm basically using. She's almost better than a gun. gun. <laughs> She's almost better than a gun. <laughs> I can hit you from a lot longer away. <laughs> 700 <laughs> feet. <Yeah. laughs> the problem with the modern weapons weapons is you don't know how to fix or make more know. ammo. So one handed staff. Which makes Fun, sense. I was like, fun no, to hold it like this, right? Yeah. Mm. But and like it tucked and then like sweeping and just trying to trying to hit somebody in a soft mm. spot, I guess. I don't know. Like I can't hold the door generate any. Yeah. See, yeah, I wasn't thinking about holding it. Like, I was thinking mostly holding it like out. Yeah. But no. like I said, holding. But even yeah, but even like poking with it, it was like this. It's very difficult to. I, there's all this weight on the back. I mean, you lose. And like it's because like when you push it's forward, it's yeah. all this weight in the back pulls it down, and it's hard to get any kind of maybe a little. If I hold it, that's a little better if you hold it kind of back a little bit. That's still extremely limiting. Cause like sweet, I I can't, I cannot grab and sweep. And maybe like, cause I know a lot of like, like grabbing and like, sweeping um, would be fun, like this would be fine for a parry. Yeah. But like, the generating me kind of blow. Sorry, everybody. Oh, We're all watching yeah. Ian 
a twirl <laughs> stick around. <laughs> to be fair, I don't twirl think is the stick only around. time um, you'd be using the staff one-handed and actually intending to harm someone mm. would be more of a surprise kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Um, Because even so, a mage, if I was intending to harm someone with my quarter staff, mm -hmm. I would have cast the spell that I wanted to cast or whatever yeah, yeah, beforehand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's like that I thing agree. where they talk about like wielding a staff one-handed, so... Like, what if they're not really a one hand and they're just using the one hand to do it and using the other hand to guide? Well, that's kind of how you normally use the staff anyway. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, generate what? power with this hand and guide with the back, the back hand. You get there. chair. The other thing about uh, that is, so I, when I think of a staff, like, that one Go looks a bit else. wide. Yeah. Yes. It is a little wide. Go to the cargo lift. But it's hollow, <laughs> so weight-wise, it's still probably fairly close. What is this? What is this? More than anything, just the mechanics of it. Because, like, like, the idea of a wizard holding a staff one hand, you know, for spells, and, like, this casting a spell, yeah. but if he's actually doing an attack, I assume he takes the hand that he was casting a spell and grips the other yeah. side of it. I would assume that, too. It's just a mechanic where you can use it it, it has the versatile. That is a weird mechanic to thing have in, that uh, where it does one d six one handed and one d eight two handed. That's, I don't that's, know. We, that's weird. I've never heard of someone yeah. using it one handed. Usually people just use it two handed when they're using it. <laughs> what do you like? Or it's just flavor for a wizard. Are they all Stanley? Yes. yes. Do you uh, for these name for these figurines? Do you like Stanlerines or Figlies better? <laughs> Stanlerines. Yes. I kind of yeah. like Figlies, but all right. How about how about Stanchuettes? <laughs> uh, Those are like not, statuettes. Not a, not one that he was pitching, but yeah, well he can go to hell. <laughs> hey, anybody watching this video, uh, show us some, show me a video, uh, link us in on the description or in the comments a video of somebody using a staff one-handed. So I'm really interested now, and like actually using a staff one-handed and not like some weeaboo knocking over a fucking water bottle, like actual, like, something that looks like it hit somebody. <laughs> to be fair, I have, do have Tee -tee. something at home. It isn't a staff per se, mm -hmm. but I used it and uh, mm -hmm. messed with it's it around like it was fuck. one. I, I have a Joe, yeah. which is, like, smaller diameter. Yeah, it's about short. that big. And I feel like I could one hand it easily, just fucking use it like it's so long. Yeah, just one hand sort of. Ah! That's why I pretty been, much. That's how. That's I what I've always been picturing. Just uh, that one hand is. Ah! Yeah, pretty much. That's exactly what I was thinking. But if that's an actual core staff, yeah, okay, I can see like a maybe like a Goliath who's well, like ah, you have so much stronger, but like staffs. a wizard. Because um, the thing I've got at home is about probably about that big. Mm. So yeah, like Devin was saying, I when I was thinking about it, I was imagining one handed. You just. Bah! Hmm. The th like I said, my thing with that is the extended bottom make, would make generating that kind of momentum hard because that weight at the bottom would be very off balance and go like a whap. I mean, you could whap somebody with it, you're just not going to generate a whole lot of damage, I wouldn't think. Well, you're going from a D8 to a D6, that's a pretty big difference. Yeah. Yeah. The D6 is still really the same amount of damage as like a club, like a billing club. Like a it should go down. Yeah, it it should go, damage. Almost should go down. Uh, I, I think. I think. A, I think a solid club would do a D six damage. How much damage do you think a bucket would do? A great club does a D six damage. They have a great club's two handed, right? Yeah. 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 That, is, that should I, be way more than them to one D six damage. How much damage should a bucket do? One D four. A bucket. <laughs> I would. Yeah. One D four empty. One D six filled. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's what, what is it filled with, though? That also depends. Well, maybe this tape will tell us. It's an extremely versatile weapon. It just depends this on what you tape number 295. Oh, God. Tape number. I don't even know. I've lost track. Tape number. Matt Pat saw this and was like, This don't game has lore? Anymore. Is this like the person that did it before Stan? I study this bucket. Oh. Makes <laughs> <laughs> sense. Oh, my God. I feel no. like... I feel like the Stanley Parable has parody of lore. I agree with that. That's probably fair. It's not real lore, it's just the idea of putting lore in because that's what all these walking simulators do. The fucking Slenderman garbage. So what I just heard, it made something, Caleb. 
What am I saying? A club does a D4. Mm-hmm. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, God. What does a knife do? What? what? Oh, sorry? sorry? No, How much damage does a knife do? A dagger? D4. Yeah. That I understand, but the club? I would think a club would do more damage. Yeah, than a club would do more They, they, they visualize actually, the club as like a, just basically like a stick. Why? Like that's right. It's like, it's like, like a like stick a with like maybe a brass hand? ring on it. Just... I mean, maybe. Or like a like a like a slightly bigger sap. Like, like a billy club. Like a, like a nice stick. We, we should monetize the bucket. No, I agree. Monetize the bucket. I would think a nice stick would do a D six. The amounts of money people will pay for I mean, we need to talk to Tommy. <laughs> He's used one, but has he actually used? What does this like, bucket do? Jesus. Jesus. No, I don't think he's hit anywhere. I have to use it. Oh my god. He should have at least a good estimation of what kind of damage he's going to do. What is it? A nice stick. A nice stick? I would think. I, mean, I don't think it would be a D6. I don't know. I think it's more just like a balancing thing. Oh, Great Club's D8. Great Club's D8? Oh, damn. So, um. He left. Tape cut out after he realized someone that was there and the, okay. he said Gambarata. Oh god. And now we hear this otherworldly stuff going on, Zaza. Oh, god. So the bucket yeah, is an Eldritch Being? Man. Or some or an Eldritch Being is after it. I like the second one off so better. That's yes. funny. He said, wait, who what's that? Who's there? Gambarata. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Right, reminds guys, me of rat this is the episode fucking... of the Stanley Parable where we talk about D&D &D mechanics and martial arts. Yeah, Why and... Why does it fucking brag to me, man? Stanley Jesus. This is using my hand staff. Mm-hmm. It goes down. Yeah. I'm He's still using it too. And he is using it two-hand. He's just doing a single technique one hand. Yeah. Yeah. That like before, oh, no, he, before this. he does that sweeping attack, he still has to balance with the second hand. Mm. Yeah, that would be a technique. Most of the one-handed things I find like the one-handed spin, mm -hmm. and then there's a one-handed upward flower. Mm-hmm. Cause like that's all I could find. He does like a swinging attack, so I'm not gonna do full two and knock something over. Oh, but oh. he doesn't actually. This happened. No, I'm the whole thing. Yeah, that was every point. Kind of but like, he's not just pulling it like this and sweeping. He's starting it balanced and throwing the momentum with this hand, and then continuing with the single hand. I don't know. That is it's just weird because I can't. I think a barbarian could do it one hand and just say like, fuck it. You're strong enough. Just hold I mean, it in and just use it as a club. I guess, I guess but that just still making, seems lame. You're making the art witcher argument of pulling a sword in reverse grab. Like, yeah, he's got super strength. Of course he can, but it's not like that's an effective fighting technique. He's using a rope. You're down my phone, yes, No, it's no. not like that. Let's tell you to use it again. No, it's not like that's an effective fighting technique holding a sword in a reverse grip no, like yeah. that. I, um, you ever heard of self sword arts? Mm hmm. Like, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. He's been doing the, I love the reverse art. grip stuff. And yeah, I thought it was pretty sweet. And then there's Equilibrium, where you can go through the chair as well. Jesus, yeah. Oh my god, Ian. Oh my goodness! I can go through the door because no bucket has this point. Oh my god. Uh oh. I refuse to give over a bucket. Who the hell says I refuse. no buckets? I refuse to give up this bucket. Because apparently this bucket is an Elder's Bean. Or being chased by one. It's an SCP. This entire game is SCP. Pretty much. <laughs> So like, actually the knife doing a d4 damage makes a lot of sense, because by itself, a single knife wound, like, it hits somebody with a knife, it's actually extremely survivable. What makes a nice advantage is how quickly, because mm -hmm. like, if I'm going to hit you with an effective punch, like jabs, whatever, I'm going to draw and fire. I got to put... A knife, I can get you pop, 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 six, seven times, give you oh my. cuts, and then. Jeez. Oh, oh, my God. God. oh my God. Yeah, is it a game show? It's a game show? Look, is this an audience? Sure. Is a podium? Is this a bucket, the game show? Mm. I don't know if it is a bucket. I think okay. it's. No, it's look, America's I think favorite it's game just being show. disguised as a bucket. But, okay, is a pail a bucket? What's the difference between a bucket and a pail? Is oh, a okay, pail guys. a bucket? 
Is this right before us on the conveyor belt? Is Both that a hand. bucket? Yes. You think so? I believe so. Yes. You think it might be a I bucket? I think so. Yes. It might be a pail. I don't know how big it is. I don't have anything to compare it to size-wise. Yeah, I think a pail is a small bucket. <laughs> well, I'm I'm noticing it does appear to be made of metal, but unlike our bucket, it's getting some nice reflection mm -hmm. off of a. That was not a shiny bucket in Does it have way. to be particularly oh, made that out bucket, of something? Does, does that bucket have the bucket sticker? <laughs> it doesn't have a bucket sticker! Oh, then it's not a bucket. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Correct. It is a hologram of a bucket. Oh. <laughs> an actual bucket. I don't know. I tried oh, to I his answer Jesus. better. He's trying to trick us. <laughs> it doesn't have a sticker. It doesn't have the bucket sticker. Item 2. Is this a bucket? Do you have a sticker? It doesn't have a sticker. Maybe the sticker's on the back. Sticker can might we, be on the back. Can we, walk, can we walk around and look on the uh, other side? No. Oh, man. We, we're not allowed to leave this platform. Damn. Because the sticker might be on the back of this. That one. would be a dead this giveaway. Would be a that would be a trick question. Is the, uh, sticker, the sticker's on the back. Well, mm. let's see. Correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket. Not an but it isn't a 3D See, bucket. I would argue that's also, also a bucket. A bucket. Yeah. Three times in a row. It has to be a bucket. It, it, has, to it has to be a bucket. Three times in a row. No, no, you're tricking me. Correct. This is a bucket. Okay, now, can you can you get the answer wrong? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh. Well, say I feel like he's. Item four. Is this a bucket? I mean, it has a bucket seat, but. Um. Oh, so yeah. Mm, it doesn't look like the sticker. It's got bucket-esque qualities, but do buckets have wheels? At the point a bucket has a wheel, it's no longer a bucket, and now it's a wheelbarrow, correct? Yes. You know how many wheels? And so, well, four from the look of it, I mean, this looks like a... It doesn't look like a bucket. Is it just a wagon at that point? It four Well, it doesn't look like a bucket. Oh, okay. So, no. I thought we were just talking about a bucket with wheels. Oh, sorry. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't but you think you were all on that. I didn't realize the context. See, is, it, is a wheelbarrow a bucket? Because I mean, it's a bucket, but it's got wheels. Yeah. It's a wall know. bucket. He put that in as a gimme and thanked me for not making him look like an idiot. <laughs> is this oh a bucket? Well, we said the last one wasn't a bucket. This has to be a trick question. I think this has to be yes. a trick question. We're doing great so far. Yeah, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Item six. Oh is man. This a it uh, looks like a bucket. I don't see the sticker. The I sticker don't... could be on the back. Like the third one we had. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. Both? It's like Schrodinger's it bucket? A bucket and also not a bucket. <gasps> like Schrodinger's dun, bucket, dun, yeah. Dun. I can't find the next one. Let me see, it should be around here somewhere. Well, After this, I have another argument for the one hit is death. Okay. It's not really an argument, it's just like a an idea. conclusion, an idea. Okay. Is there a bucket in I don't, I don't see any bucket. Can we walk up there and put our book up there? Oh. No, we can't get all the stuff. Yes. Thank you. There's nothing here. Of course it isn't a bucket. Huh? We both know full well that nothing isn't a bucket. <laughs> Wait, when I say nothing isn't a bucket, that makes it sound like I'm saying everything is a bucket, which of course is not true. Unless, is that what you think? Answer me straight, Stanley. Are you trying to tell me that you believe everything is a bucket? Yes. <laughs> So what is a bucket? <laughs> well, it's something that contains liquid. Liquid. Or something that can possibly contain liquid. Yeah. Then what isn't a bucket? Uh, uh counter argument. I mean, <laughs> okay, cranes use what is commonly referred to as a bucket to lift what they do. And not, and most of the time, that is simply dirt. But, see, the, my argument was it was something that could possibly contain water. 
and you could use a bucket on a crane to pick up water if you mm -hmm. wanted to. Yes. I Which is why oh. everything is a bucket. Oh. He deleted I'm all for a moment. He deleted all buckets in the game, now everything's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Say what? I feel like if you were just on it to crane has a bucket, I was like, crane? Oh, you're thinking for a crane? Yeah. I feel like a piece of a What else? Could a crane's be? Stanley <laughs> and the narrator are not buckets, so they're still there. The crane itself is a bucket. Disagree. <laughs> Stanley's a bucket, because he contains water. <laughs> Ooh, Does he oh though, God. or is he a program is this and not real? Bucket, it yes. turned us into a bucket. Yes. <laughs> or is he? Or is, all, everything you know, he, is he a program and not real, therefore not containing any liquid? Nothing can hit liquid. All right, here we go. So did we get an ending? That's an ending. That's cool. That was the, uh, <laughs> the is ending? this a bucket ending? <laughs> so. They don't allow us to go that way with the bucket. Mm -hmm. So we can go that way without the bucket. Should we go that way without the bucket? I think maybe we should. Okay, one-handed argument. Okay, um, could we say that technically the wizard or whatever is doing what you said? He is casting his spell, then mm -hmm. putting his hand on to mm -hmm. strike. And could we say that him casting that spell before he does that makes it to where he is not at quite as prepared to strike with it as somebody who has already had it in two hands, therefore that's why you get one die less damage. Okay, maybe. So, but, he's not but, as but hypothetically, with, under, under the rules, the mm. staff being wielded as one-handed, could I wield a knife in the other hand? Yes. So that's with a... Yeah. Yeah. A lot of I wizards agree. focus their spells through their staff. Yeah. Well, are, the uh, the argument of the yeah, idea. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, the idea of a one hand staff is because somatic components require hand Oh, functions. okay. Yeah. My wizard didn't didn't I'm have a quarter staff because he know. left that home because he went to the fucking carnival hoping to have a fun time in carnival. Now he's in Feywild. I just think it's weird. That's all I'm saying. I agree. I, I, think, I, it's, agree. I think it's a I, I think it's a weird design choice. Um. Not that D and D has ever had the most accurate weapon <laughs> rules in the world. Why do commas do slashing damage? Yeah. They're not cutting weapons; yeah. they're stabbing weapons. Yeah. Look, Stanley, I think I that's what you've got. even trying to use a comma as a flash. It is so hard to do a cut with a comma. It requires a very hook hand motion to actually slash. If you grab and pull, you'll grab. It'd be like a grapple, more than it would be a slash. It won't be a slash. Yeah. Yeah. To do damage with a comma, <coughs> jab with it. Mm -hmm. A comma is a piercing weapon. But every game calls them slashing weapons, I assume because it's got a single edge blade. <coughs> Generally, <laughs> nine times out of ten, a single edge blade is a cutting weapon. Also, the thoughts on how you attack with a comma are generally probably considered slashing with it. I'm personally not a fan of the piercing, slashing, bashing damage types anyway. I feel like it's just kind of physical damage. I, I, yeah, I have physical damage. Because I feel like it's kind of overly granular. You can do, yeah, you can do whatever you want with it. I mean, you could use a long sword. One more flip. You could use a long sword as a blood weapon. I mean, I mean you have a long sword, you could use it as a bullet bludgeoning weapon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you have sword, you, you could use it. You could use it as a stabbing to thrust. Like, I get it, a claymore isn't as effective with a thrust as it is with a cut, but you can still thrust with a claymore. I think, it seems overly semantic. I think we can like all agree trying to do that. Mm -hmm. I think we can all agree that figure figure and Lorene is not a good one. Nope, that's a bad one. That's a bad one there, narrator. Pick something else. <laughs> But yeah. yeah, so like if we're if if we're married to this piercing slashing blood. Oh, we already know how all those ones. <laughs> If, if we're married to this we to those slashing and then yeah, a claymore would be a slashing weapon because at its effective, you're going to cut with it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, hypothetically, you can both stab and pommel hit with a claymore. But half the time, I feel like it... I mean, didn't 19 good old days with claymore grab the blade and pommel them? Um, well, there was a technique. It's called half-sorting, yeah. Mm -hmm. Where you, especially if you had a gauntleted hand, you'd grab it and jab him like a spear. But half the times I feel like when they make these bludgeoning, piercing, I mean not mostly piercing and slashing debates, yeah. I feel like they're doing it based less on what the weapon can do and how the perceived attack with it is performed. 
I mean, I, I yeah, I guess you're right. More treasure. My, okay, okay. Then let me. Side. Let me. Uh, Whoa. Let me make this argument. Is a pick a cutting weapon, even though you still use a slashing motion with it? Truck to a pickaxe or a gnomish hook hammer? No, it is Trust not. Trust the completionist instinct. Even though you still do the sweep like motion. Yeah. It's yes, a uh, completionist is the peop are the people who uh, 100%. have to do 100%. everything in the game. Yep. <laughs> but the, I'm just saying that to me it feels like. Why wouldn't they, they just tell they us something will happen? Yeah, the yeah. ability based on how in the generally this room. it all feels decided. pointless to be honest. The pick ends up being kind of like the exception that mm -hmm. identifies the bridge. Yeah. Well, no. I mean, I, I absolutely well, we see forgot what well, I know, uh, what we don't know yet. Pick right. pickaxes. <laughs> Can we sell them? Obviously. Oh, no one needs. Oh yeah. Dude. What? Let play into it. Is. Hell yeah! So yeah, we use the picks. Pick Hell yeah! Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah! Pickaxes. What do they want? I'm not minor. Hell yeah. I used to use Also just thought of a weapon that um, has a curved blade mm -hmm. that curves inward but is still a slashing weapon. Maybe we're the collectibles. Maybe we're the collectibles. Shut the oh, fuck yeah, up. No. <laughs> but even so, the, the, the sickle... There will be a reward not. for finding them all. <laughs> Yeah, the comma, the comma, is a, the comma is a piercing weapon. And it's a piercing weapon. It's not. I want them so much. I want to go home. Me too. Stop kidding yourselves. You are home. There will, I'm done, when I'm in my office, that's there, it. There will home. be cleaning of this wall required. <laughs> I say it's because the broom closet, but we've established it's a maintenance closet, not yep. a cleaning. So. But like I said, I I I'm kind of at the point oh, where like all okay. of them, they should just be back. The, they should just be physical. These are and, these are and all if clues. You're, if you want to granulate it? It should be that is bashing and stab, yeah, bashing yeah, and do with <laughs> uh, yeah, and mission and status inside a secret visit. Large room, lots of boxes. Somewhere both red and blue. Nearby a fireplace. A private but smelly place for an important person. And the one that's not crossed out. Stairs. Something to do with stairs. <laughs> So oh we're going to go downstairs with a bucket? There, the, is there the staircase ending, SCP? Isn't there an ending where we go down infinite stairs? Infinite oh, stairs? Uh, no. Is there an ending where we go down a crazy amount of stairs? Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet. We've established it's not a broom closet, it's a maintenance closet. Did, you can and it is common for maintenance closets to carry basic cleanup materials like brooms and mops. <laughs> I my, my, my entire life is a lie. I thought this was a broom closet, and now we was. Well, in any case, he says there's no more stickers, so there's no need to be here. <laughs> what stickers? I wanted more stickers. He only had the I mean, two. I kind of more stickers too. Yeah. Stickers. Stand in the bucket. Oh, oh look, stickers. left leads to treasures. Technically, that's left. So. Mm -hmm. And okay. left again. All right. Okay. Yeah. Hey, left did lead to treasure. I was going to make that joke when we came to the stairs the first time. I was going to say, let's go. So when he said up or down, when technically it's left or right, and left for his treasure. The summary already called up. I would expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements. You've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would no, it's not. That's fucking some hustle culture bullshit. But that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's yeah, strong. sell sword arts. I, I watch them all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Holy so. Shit. No, I smell that. Like, oh. I don't know. I know this stuff that might be smelling over here. I can't. So. <laughs> oh, oh. Fun little thing about oh, this yeah, 1 2 B4. Mm -hmm. That is a stab at Valve and Steam. <laughs> Because they are they're notorious for not reaching the number oh, three with their yeah, games. Yeah. So, that's a fun little joke. And every, every, every game that would be considered the third game is always like a prequel or something that happened before the second Or they call it something else. And yeah. Oh, like mm -hmm. Alex and frickin' Half-Life frickin' episode 2.0 or some whatever the fuck it's called. 
There's like four different Half Life games. Two of them take place between the whole hallway. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, this is it. Oh no, this isn't my bucket. Came out. Yeah. Yeah. Then they came, they said they were going to come out with three. <laughs> they said, yeah. It's they gone! Half Life 2. The they bucket's said, gone! Rather than coming out with Half Life 3 right now, the bucket go. The bucket's gone! Episode, we're going to come out with three episodes yeah. Josh, maybe for Half Life 2. Oh, God. And they only came out with two. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But and they uh, had Half Life Alex. If you want this also, please. please. I'm, we're going crazy because we don't have the bucket. Yep, this is from their taco salad. Oh, I don't know, there's anything It's pretty sad. Oh, God. He rushed forward to the room, passing by one bucket after the next. None of them were his. None of them were his special bucket. Oh, they're really a long process of actually making this thing. Yeah. He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. He made a sudden. I did not. Bucket and mommy buckets. Uh, mommy, go ahead. No baby buckets. No bucket was inside of him all along. That sounds painful. Huh? God. I was hoping to reach the mo mama bucket and the little baby bucket. Yeah, I'm gonna say this one with that same infinite ending for the first one. Yeah. But with, 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 with the bucket. Yep. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. Man, that this is man strong thought. had no bucket. Of course, he got mad. Ranting and raving about an orator describing all of his actions, <laughs> how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion, and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world could be, Marietta And she hugged her own bucket even tighter. Oh. Of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would be oh. oh, yeah. Well, I guess after we finish this, then we will call it night? I guess we'll have to. This will be a short session she just because I just did not... Of all the things I brought with me, I did not bring the power cord. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, yeah, I was like... Join Pet us next time as we discuss the logistics of spear fighting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, and the power building is this, healing people through your god. I actually don't have a spear, so... This is one of those times that... Uh, one of those games that... We might talk too much during it. I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, you, why would you have five people here if we weren't going to talk? <laughs> well, we're talking a little bit. We did warn you, Josh. This is kind of the way it always works. Yeah, but... It was a little much. We were. Well, I noticed there was the problem of uh, sometimes not noticing what's going on here, and then they're all surprised. And um, well, that's half the fun. Well, yes, but. Uh, you got any other? Uh, that's uh... You got any other weird weapons you need some rules for? The light hammer. I have no clue what to do with the light hammer. What is a light hammer? It's basically like a throwing hammer. So you're throwing axe, black hammer? Alright, oh, we'll ditch this later. You can use it as a melee attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye!